Hey on YouTube, what is up? Happy New Year! It's 2021, we can put that horrible year behind us. Thank God it's over guys. It's going to be a nice one this year. Um, pardon the pun. But, yeah. That's not how you spell nice. There's only one C in nice. But yeah. Just to advertise my new um, Christmas present. One of the very few I got. Because at my age, you know, you're not getting spoiled. Like when you're a kid, but I'm just glad 2020 is over. And I know you all feel the same, because it's been too long, guys. Like they say, I'm too modest, you know? But I do believe in myself. There's just nothing like a frosty bottle of Coca Cola. If I can interrupt. Yeah, so we're busy, guys. Oh, this guy won't leave me alone. I was gonna make a video and react to like the whole year, but it's been too much, you know. From January when there was those fires in Australia, you know, and then there's the brink of World War Three in America when Trump decides to off someone in a foreign country, like he always, well, like America seems to do a lot. So that happened then, and then obviously this huge infectious thing spread from China around the world and it was called TikTok, you know? And then of course, a little something called Covid that, uh, you know, didn't really do much, didn't affect us in any way, at all. And here we are, a year later, well done if you made it this far. Because, oh God, it's been a ride. It's been mental. Like, the amount of lockdowns and tears, not actual tears, but you know, I don't know what tier we're in at, tier 5? But yeah, and whatever Boris is trying to do. And we had the uh, Prince Harry and Meghan leave uh, England, basically, and go and live in Canada uh, to avoid, well, I don't know, well, they avoid it, well, being compared to the rest of the royal family. Um, ooh, shit, someone dropped something. Ooh, oh my god. Oh my god, guys. So yeah, we had a glass smash. But it's all good, because it's 2021. It's not 2020. Thank God. But guys, yeah, I mean, joking aside, like, what the hell happened this year? I don't know, I'm not gonna dwell on it. I've got some resolutions for this year. One being, survive? I don't know. That, that, that's the bare minimum, you know what I mean? But you know, I wanna get, back to the pub. That's a fact. Get back to normal eventually, not just yet. The vaccine might give us all superpowers and this year we might have zombies and AIs take over the world. Who knows? I mean, could it get worse? Not really, no. Um, I don't know how to put this year to words. I've made too many videos talking about Covid. Like, who cares? I want to get back to making Reddit videos and reacting to funny stuff and reviewing albums and whatever it is I normally do here. And yeah, of course, how could we forget um, what happened to George Floyd and numerous other black men in America, and women for that matter. Um, that was a turning point as well because there were a lot, lot of uh, protests, some peaceful, some not so peaceful, some with, with people that didn't care about the message that was trying to be put across, that still deserves to be put across, the BLM movement, and uh, you saw that in the fireworks um, in London here, um, the only ones mentioning BLM or LGBT, some other letter in there, I forget. Um, but yeah, I mean, one thing I'll take away from this year is that people disagree, yeah, but opinion people got different opinions but you know and then it was it was the battle between people trying to say black lives matter and then all lives matter but that's not the point in order for all lives to matter black lives have to first matter and be on the par with other lives freedom of speech we have the right to it you know and opinion in some ways and then you know trump lost that was a brilliant thing that happened this year trump lost and 
Or Biden, the OAP one. However long he's going to live, he'll be there. Unless he gets COVID, you know. That'd be it for him. So, Trump lost and... Yeah, I mean, there's still people who love that guy. You know, obviously. There's two sides to everything. But it was like tribal politics. Like, yeah, I believe that I follow this guy. I believe in this other guy. So we hate each other now. We're enemies. We live next to each other. But we're going to kill each other because I'm voting for this guy and you're voting for this guy. Like, I mean, get over yourselves. Can we all get, on, get, get along, you know? Can we just be friends? You know, we're all reasonable people. Well, I don't know about reasonable people, but... This year we learned a lot about how many idiots there are in the world. Um, whether you think Boris Johnson is to blame or people not following the rules, but people will be people at the end of the day. And other countries did better, other countries did worse. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's in the past. We've got a lot of fixing to do, a lot of rebuilding of our normal lives. But, you know, I feel good. And I think a lot of people do because 2020 is no more. It's gone, dead and buried. And one thing I've learned this year is that you've got to leave the past where it belongs. In the past. So now, this year, I'm just going to get drunk. Um, maybe try and play less Fortnite and video games because that's all I've been doing this year, really. But I've, I've enjoyed that with my friends. Um, having banter, ridiculous amount of banter, while the world around us fell apart. It was brilliant, really. And I got this nice new hoodie. I'm not funny, am I? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've never been a comedian. This comes out randomly. I'm funny by accident. But yeah, you're going to see a lot more of this this year. More reaction videos, more... You know, funny videos here and there. Podcasts, maybe not so many. I don't know if I even can be bothered. We'll see. just want to get back to normal this year, so... Half the time I might be in the pub, or whenever that reopens, but I'll be in the pub, you know, in the club, just out and about, more vlogs in the streets again, hopefully, back to Camden at some point. It better reopen soon, because I'm fed up. But yeah, in, enough dwelling on the past, on what the past year did to us all, and we'll be stronger for it. As bad as it was, you know, kept it together, pretty much in this house and I'm glad we came out the other side you know, stronger than before and that's what you've got to think about if you've got to think about the year, think about how it made you appreciate what you've got and how good things can be and you know, long live normal life whenever we get back to it but it'll be, we know it's soon because 2020 is done so happy new year guys I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll be back soon with a reddit video once I get back in my routine, I have you know this is the first time I've sat in front of a camera in about three weeks. So we're back, guys. Life can begin again. But yeah, I'm Luigi21. It is 2021. Take it easy, guys. Peace.